Imagine, someone is giving away cups in an experiment. After a while, the participants are asked to choose and to either keep their cups or exchange them for money. It turns out that the participants are only willing to exchange their cups for money when the offered amount was about $7 or higher. During the experiment, a second group was also asked to choose between money and a cup. However, on the contrary to group A, they haven't owned the cups before they had to choose. In this case, participants rather took the money. And they even did so when the offered amount was only $3. This experiment shows that two groups can value an identical item completely different. The choice depends on whether you have owned the item before or not. This effect is called Endowment Effect. The Endowment Effect says that an item's value depends on owning it. In other words, you like what you own. This effect contradicts two important economy principles. Economists say that consumers' preferences are stable. That is, the evaluation of consumers should not be influenced by external factors. In addition, the economist assumes that the value of a product A in exchange for B should be the same as the value of B in exchange for A. However, this experiment shows these economist assumptions to be false. Humans are not always making rational decisions. They rate the fear of a loss higher than the possible change of making a profit. So we tend to protect what we already own. And this also influences the valuation of objects. This effect is often used in marketing and sales. Many companies attract with trial offers. Let's take a look at a good technical example in which we could be influenced by the endowment effect. Think about the App Store and how it is trying to sell the product. Often it says that an app is for free, but to use it without advertising popping up every three seconds, you have to buy it. They are really trying to make you get in touch with the product first and then really want to buy it. Did you ever buy an app after you tried the free trial? Would have you bought the app? If you had to pay the price directly, maybe it was the endowment effect which influenced your purchase decision. The endowment effect influences our decisions every day. So think about it the next time you're about to spend money on a product. Ask yourself if the product is worth the price or is it all about wanting to own this product. Do you have more ideas for examples where this effect influences us?